Nobody is having a worse year than Diddy. I guess his contract with the devil is about to expire. He's just been hit with another huge lawsuit from an anonymous accuser who says she was still in high school when he and others sex trafficked and gang raped her. The lawsuit fought by Jane Doe in the federal court alleges she met Bad Boy Entertainment President Harvey Pierre in 2003 in the Detroit area where Pierre allegedly called her hot. Drop Diddy's name and invited her to jump on a private jet to go and meet the mogul. The accuser says she was a 17-year-old still in 11th grade when this meeting happened. She says she accepted the invitation and ended up in New York City where she met Diddy in a studio. According to her, there was a recording session going on and she claims he invited her to sit in his lap and they began plying her with drugs and alcohol. The accuser included photos of that studio meeting in the lawsuit and you do see someone sitting on his lap. She bled her face in the images. She says everything was bled after that, but she remembers Diddy taking her to the bathroom where he slept with her without consent. The accuser also claims Pierre and another man, who she doesn't name, also had four sex with her during this night in the studio. She claims she ended up in a fetal position on the bathroom floor and was eventually escorted out of the studio and flown back to Michigan. The accuser says she suffered silently for 20 years and although she knew speaking out would be difficult, I felt confidence after seeing Cassie and several other women share similar allegations against Diddy. The suit alleges Diddy violated New York State victims of gender motivated violence protection law, which has expanded the statute of limitations. Diddy reacted to the lawsuit by releasing a statement saying, Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things that's being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. So yeah, that's what's going on on the Diddy side of things. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.